The Euphrates River, a shimmering artery pulsating through the heart of the Middle East, transcends its physical form. It's not just a geographical wonder, but a living testament to human history, a cradle of civilization that nurtured some of the world's earliest cultures. It's a source of life, not just for the parched land it traverses, but for the spirit as well. It's a powerful symbol woven into the fabric of many religions, a thread that connects humanity to the divine. Today, we embark on a journey along its ancient waters, a pilgrimage not just of space, but of time, exploring the deep and multifaceted connection between the Euphrates and faith. Our story begins in Mesopotamia, the land between two rivers, the Tigris and Euphrates. Here, nestled amidst fertile plains and towering ziggurats, some of the world's earliest civilizations flourished. The Sumerians, with their innovative irrigation systems, drew sustenance and inspiration from the life-giving waters of the Euphrates. Their rich mythology, etched on clay tablets in the intricate cuneiform script, often personified the river as a god sometimes benevolent, nurturing crops and sustaining life, the god Enki was associated with the Euphrates' bountiful waters. Yet other tablets depicted a wrathful god, a powerful force of nature capable of unleashing destructive floods. This duality reflects the very essence of the Euphrates, a river that can be both lifeblood and destroyer. The Babylonians, who succeeded the Sumerians, continued this tradition of reverence. The river god Ea, a descendant of Enki, was central to their pantheon. Grand religious festivals were held on the banks of the Euphrates, with offerings and prayers seeking the god's favor for bountiful harvests and protection from floods. The Assyrians, a powerful empire that rose in the north, also acknowledged the Euphrates' significance. Their god Asher, the supreme deity, was often depicted standing on a winged disc emerging from the river symbolizing his dominion over both the physical and spiritual realms. These early Mesopotamian civilizations laid the foundation for the rich tapestry of religious beliefs that would intertwine with the Euphrates for millennia to come. As the sands of time shifted, another pivotal moment unfolded. Abraham, the patriarch of Judaism, received a covenant from God. This covenant, a promise of a land for his descendants, stretched from the Nile River in Egypt to the Euphrates. This established the Euphrates as a symbolic boundary for the Israelites, a geographical marker of the Promised Land. The journey to the Promised Land, a central theme in the Hebrew Bible, involved crossing the mighty Euphrates. It represented not just a physical transition, but a spiritual one, entering a land blessed by God. The river, with its life-giving waters, became a symbol of divine favor and abundance. The Hebrew Bible repeatedly mentions the Euphrates, often in poetic language. In the Psalms, it's described as a place of peace and prosperity. By the rivers of Babylon we sat and wept when we remembered Zion. There we hung our harps upon the willows. Psalm 137-1-2 The prophet Isaiah, addressing the Israelites during a time of exile, uses the Euphrates as a symbol of hope and restoration. For the Lord will make a way through the sea, a path in the mighty waters. Isaiah 43:16. Indeed, the significance of the Euphrates River in the biblical narrative transcends mere geography. For the Israelites, crossing this mighty river symbolized a profound spiritual journey. It marked their transition from bondage to freedom, from wandering to settlement. More than a physical boundary, it represented a threshold into a covenantal relationship with God a pact to abide by his commandments and live according to his will. Thus, the crossing of the Euphrates became a powerful symbol of faith, obedience, and the fulfillment of divine promise. As Islam arose in the 7th century AD, the Euphrates retained its sacred significance. Imam Ali, a revered figure, hailed it as the master of all rivers in this world. Baghdad, erected on its banks, burgeoned into a vibrant Islamic hub, fostering cultural exchange and intellectual discourse. The Euphrates, symbolizing continuity and abundance, sustained life and spiritual reflection for countless believers. Its waters mirrored the unity and diversity inherent 
in the Islamic civilization that flourished along its shores. Although the Quran doesn't directly reference the Euphrates, it extols rivers as divine blessings, essential for sustenance and spiritual nourishment. The imagery of Janna, depicted as lush gardens adorned with flowing rivers, mirrors the life-sustaining essence associated with the Euphrates. This metaphorical portrayal highlights the significance of rivers as symbols of abundance and tranquility, echoing the sacred essence attributed to the Euphrates in Islamic tradition. Thus, while not explicitly mentioned, the Euphrates resonates symbolically within the Quran's portrayal of paradise, emphasizing its profound spiritual and cultural importance in Islamic thought. Sufi mystics, known for their emphasis on personal connection with the divine, drew inspiration from the Euphrates. They saw the river's constant flow as a symbol of divine grace, ever-flowing and renewing. Some Sufi poets even likened the human soul to a drop of water eventually merging with the vast ocean of God's love, similar to how the river feeds into the vastness of the sea. Indeed, the Assyrian Church of the East, tracing its origins to the heart of Mesopotamia, holds the Euphrates in profound reverence. Within their liturgical practices, this mighty river symbolizes the sanctity of nature, embodying the divine presence within the natural realm. For adherents, the Euphrates serves as a tangible reminder of God's eternal presence and providence flowing through the lands of their ancestors. In their spiritual journey, its waters evoke a deep sense of connection to their faith heritage and the sacred landscapes of ancient Mesopotamia. Through the lens of the Assyrian Church of the East, the Euphrates becomes a conduit for spiritual reflection and a testament to the enduring relationship between humanity and the divine. The Euphrates River, winding through the heart of Mesopotamia, serves as more than a geographical landmark. It's a conduit to the mystical realms of ancient myth. In the Epic of Gilgamesh, it represents the threshold between the mortal world and the divine. As Gilgamesh embarks on his quest for immortality, crossing the Euphrates becomes symbolic of his transition from the mundane to the extraordinary. It's a journey fraught with challenges, mirroring the tumultuous currents of life itself. Ultimately, the river becomes a metaphor for the human yearning for transcendence and the elusive search for eternal truths. The reverence for the Euphrates extends beyond the realm of organized religion. Local folklore and traditions often weave the river into their narratives. Stories of water spirits and genies inhabiting the riverbed are passed down through generations, reflecting the awe and respect people have held for this powerful force of nature. The Euphrates River flows as a timeless artery, coursing through the annals of history, nourishing civilizations and cultures along its banks. Its waters sustain not only bodies but also spirits, as it weaves a narrative of resilience and adaptation. Across millennia, it has been both witness and protagonist, shaping the destinies of empires and peoples alike. In its ebb and flow, it mirrors the eternal dance of creation and destruction reminding us of the fragility and interconnectedness of all existence. Beyond religious boundaries, it stands as a universal symbol of life's enduring journey, carrying within its currents the echoes of past, present, and future. However, the story of the Euphrates isn't all idyllic. The river has also been a witness to conflict and destruction. Throughout history, control of the Euphrates has been a source of contention between empires, with wars fought over its waters. The damming of the river in recent times has also had a significant impact on the environment and the lives of people who depend on it. As we stand at the crossroads of the past and present, the Euphrates River continues to be a powerful symbol. It reminds us of the enduring human spirit, our reliance on nature, and the importance of stewardship over our precious resources. The river's journey through time is a testament to the enduring power of faith and the interconnectedness of humanity and the natural world. Thank for watching.